Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to do this video for you guys. It's been highly requested and it's taken me a little bit of time to get to doing it, but I am here to do it today. This is the top three in every category. The categories I'm going to do are going to be hair, skin, nails, beauty, and fragrance. I thought that would be really fun for me to include the fragrance category since everyone always asks me what I'm wearing. I just thought that would be fun to add um, and I think makes this video a little bit different than some of the other top three in every category. With that being said, there may be some where I have a few more than three or a few less than three in each category, but this is kind of what um, are my go-to items in every category as of right now. All right, so let's hop into hair. I'm gonna start with that category first. This is my surface. This is a dry shampoo. This is Trinity. Um, I really, really like this stuff. It was recommended to me by my hairdresser um, and dear friend. I hate dry shampoo. It always looks like garbage in my hair, but this one is fabulous. It doesn't leave any film or color behind, which I love. It is brushable also, and I have been loving this stuff. It's really helping me while I transition to get healthy hair back now that I am blonde. Next up in my hair category is this guy here. This is the Pravana Perfect Blonde Seal and Protect Leave-In. You do shake it every single time. It's got kind of this cream fill in it, and it is a slightly purple shade because now I'm blonde, and we wanna keep that blonde as bright as possible. They do make one for brunettes. It's blue. I have used that before, but there's something special about this. I don't know if it's just the purple in it that I like better than the original blue one because I didn't like that one as well, but I'm loving this. Um, and I highly recommend this as well as a good leave-in conditioner. I use this every single day, whether I wash my hair or I don't, and it makes a huge difference in the brightness in my blonde. All right, another hair product that I have to talk about because this is by far probably my favorite of all the hair products that I use. And I'm sad because it is a little harder to find. This is Saint and Sinner. This is their Illuminati um, Divine Shine Holographic Serum. Ooh, that's a mouthful. But this product leaves the most beautiful shine luster in your hair, makes it silky smooth and soft, and I absolutely love it for a leave-in serum. I haven't been able to find anything that I like better. Um, also too, this brand smells so good. I love their shampoo conditioner and their leave-in also. All right, my last hair product is this guy here that I'm gonna talk about. This is by Olaplex. This is the bonding oil. I have used quite a bit of quite a bit of this oil if you guys haven't seen. Um, you can use this on wet or dry hair. I love this, especially with my blonde hair now. I need a little bit more love and hydration in my hair and this oil is great. It doesn't leave too much of a slick feeling or it just kind of absorbs into the hair and I love it. Stop. I figure since we just finished hair, let's do skin. I'm not gonna go over all my favorite skin items, but these are things um, that I think are in the top category. Um, this one I just repurchased again. This is the Mirad Anti-Aging Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for acne prone skin. Um, this is my go-to moisturizer. I've used this on and off again for years and no matter what I do, I always go back to this moisturizer. It is a holy grail product and definitely something that I think is in my top four skincare of all times. Um, so that is from Mirad. Also for Mira, this is another product you can't seem to live without. Once they made this, I was hooked. This is called the Outsmart Acne Clarifying Treatment. This is a salicylic acid treatment that works like a serum step in your skincare routine. I've been hooked on this stuff pretty much since the day it launched, and I haven't been able to put it down, and I continuously purchase this as well. More products in this category that I can't seem to live without is, um, by philosophy, it's the Purity Pore Extractor. Um, mask here. This is an amazing product if you have mask knee or if you're just someone who suffers from breakouts and you really want to declog your skin. Makes you blackhead free into uses. I have seen this work firsthand and I swear by it. It's the only face mask I actually recommend for anybody because it works. The fourth product would be the Ultimate Miracle Worker Eye by Philosophy. I love this eye cream. It's great. Um, and I, for whatever reason, I always seem to go back to this eye cream over others. And it just is the one that has stolen my heart. Now, I almost always have a mani of some kind on. And it's important to me to have decent looking nails, especially because I don't like fake nails. I like to have the cute colors and designs on my nails. So for me, I am going to go over my three top brands for nail stuff. So I'm going to start with this one here, which is Color Street. This is excellent. 
Um, I've got a bunch of different color, shape, style kind of things here. I really like Color Street a lot. I know there's lots of different people online who sell Color Street, but I just thought the quality is excellent. If you like a thinner texture for a nail sticker, these are great. I do also recommend Dashing Diva. So these are gel polish stickers also. They come in an array of colors. I actually have some on my nails right now. Um, and they come in different types of packs, but some are just plain, some have glitters and other things. These are really reasonable. I think they're like $7.99 at Ulta. You can get them in store or online, but I love the, Dash, the Dashing Diva brand. They do also make the ones for your toes as well. If you guys didn't know that, you guys gotta check these out too. I love this brand. That's actually what's on my nails right now are the Dashing Divas. Um, $7.99, you can't beat it. Excellent price and they do last up to 14 days. I have no issues, but the nail polish sticker is a little bit thicker than the Color Street. So if you have a hard time with that, um, these take a little bit longer to figure out how to use them, but once you do, they're amazing. And then I do have to recommend one actual nail polish because there's, I don't really like a whole lot of nail polish anymore, but I do love this. This is the OPI, the Infinite Shine. Um, this is kind of their at-home gel system with no light. I do love those nail polishes and that's probably the only nail polish I actually use. I was using Dip for a long time, but I got really sick of it and I felt like it wasn't staying on my nails. So I moved on from that. All right, so we're gonna hop into makeup now. I'm gonna go over the two primers that I use most. I don't use facial primers very often, so I will just uh, mention the few that I've used and that I've liked. So this is by First Day Beauty. It is the Coconut Skin Soothing Primer Moisturizer. I have this in a bunch of different travel sizes. I bought the full size as well. It's the only one that I've consistently purchased again and again. And I just like it. It feels like lotion. It doesn't really have a typical primer feel. And I like that about it. So that is one of the, one of my items. My second item is newer to me, but I'm already can tell I'm going to be obsessed with it. This is a silk priming serum from Gucci. This stuff is amazing. It is a little bit more expensive and high end, but again, your primer really does matter. It does help you keep your makeup on. So I've been using this nonstop and I cannot get enough of it. I'm gonna start with my Holy Grail concealer, which of course is the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. Yes, I am wearing the shade Custard Medium One. This is my go-to concealer. This has been my go-to concealer for many, many years now and I just can't seem to put it down. No matter what concealer I try, always, always, always go back to my NARS one. The next one I've been using a whole lot is the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer. I really like this stuff. I am in the shade Neutral Medium One. I really love this stuff. Um, I've been using the heck out of this. It's got kind of a bigger doe foot on it, but I like it a lot. It looks really pretty under my eyes and it is a nice finish on the concealer. Not too matte, um, not too shiny. And then last, this is a newer concealer, but I've been loving as well. This is the Bare Minerals Liquid Mineral Concealer. I used to use their other one before this and I loved it. So I picked this one up and I was impressed. Um, I feel like this one's a little bit of a thicker consistency as where the other one was more of a serum consistency, but I'm loving this as well. So I'm gonna start with the one I have on today. This is a Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Skin. I'm in the color Y335. Um, this powder, I love this powder. I wear this powder all the time. I've hit pan on multiple. I think this is like the fifth or sixth one that I've purchased. I love this powder. I can't seem to put it down. It always just gives this beautiful blurring velvety effect on my skin and it looks really good. The color also too is always usually a pretty good match. So I love this and this is from Makeup Forever. Another powder foundation that I adore uh, this is by Lancome. This is their dual finish powder. Again, I'm almost completely out of this. I need a new pan. It's so embarrassing, but that just shows you that I use it. This is in the color 315 Wheat. I love, love, love this stuff. Always looks beautiful on my skin. I do like that it doesn't pick up uh, on any kind of dry patches or clinginess. Same thing with the Makeup Forever. I would say that the Lancome one's a little drier as where the Makeup Forever one's like a little more velvety, but they both give me a most be like amazing finish. 
Then I have to say the Bare Pro. This is kind of my ride or die powder foundation. I have had so many of these, I can't even count. The color is amazing, it always looks good on me. This is the shade Silk, shade 14. Matches my skin the best pretty much all year round. It's one of the only ones that matches me all year round. Also, it just gives a beautiful finish. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte, it's just that perfect skin-like texture. So I feel like this will be a forever product for me. And then I have to mention one last one. I know it's more than three, it's four, but this is the Cover Effects. This is their Pressed Mineral Foundation. I've had a couple of these now as well, and I love it. it this is definitely a summer foundation for me. The colors are a little bit dark. This is um, N30 but it matches me now. And so Cover Effects also is a very clean makeup brand, so I love this for summer too, because it doesn't cause me any breakouts or issues. Next up is my contour bronzer um, category. So I've been using the KVD Vegan Beauty forever. Um, I love this palette, it is the shade and light. This is the mini, I think they're only carrying the larger one now, I've had that for years too. But this is my ride or die, it has my under eye highlighter and a matte banana shade, and then my contour shade here as well, which is called Shadow Play. Uh, this is the medium kit and I love it. I've purchased so many of these, I can't even count. And this is my ride or die for highlight and contour. Um, I don't really have anything else in the highlight contour family that I even remotely like. This is it, this is my only one. So hopefully she keeps this palette forever because if not, I will be so, 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 so sad. Um, I am sad that they discontinued these smaller palettes, but at least we still have the full size. So next up in the bronzer category is going to be this guy here. I want to talk about it real quick because Marc Jacobs is going through a either packaging or manufacturing change. Not really sure what's going on there, but this is the Infamous Tantastic. This is their bronzer that smells kind of like coconuts. It's just a beautiful shade, you guys. It pans the size of my head. I love it. Um, I do have a backup in this, but once that's gone, it's gone and I will be sad. But I did always love this as a bronzer shade. It is my perfect bronzer shade actually for winter. Um, in the summer, it's I just kind of got to pack it on, but it is my perfect winter shade bronzer. Not too much, not too little. Then my all-time favorite bronzer. I have the full size here, but this is by Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess. This is my new pan, so you guys don't have to look at my dirty, nasty one. But I love, love, love this stuff. It is waterproof. I've gone swimming and sweating, and this doesn't go anywhere. So this is my summer bronzer. I cannot live without this product, and I think it's amazing. If you haven't tried this from Tarte, this is one of their best products, in my opinion. A must try. And then a newer bronzer for me that has just stolen my heart, but I cannot seem to put this one down either, is the Gucci Beauty. So this is their bronzing powder. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. This is a perfect shade for me. I really thought it was going to be too light, but it is absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect. And this is in the shade 01. I'm sure I could have gone darker, but I don't like a super dark bronzer. I still like to contour and bronze, so... You know, you don't want to have too much, but this is stunning on, um, definitely worth every penny as well. As far as textures go, the Gucci bronzer has the best texture out of all of the bronzers that I have mentioned. All right, next up is the blush category. I am a lover of all things blush. If you guys don't know that about me, um, that's a shame because I am a blush lover. I'm going to start with the KVD Vegan Beauty Blushes. I own quite a few of them. Uh, this is Fox Glove. I love the color, the texture. These just glide on. They're so well made. This one is Rosebud. And this guy here is Puppy. And this one, last but not least, is Snapdragon. So I have a color for every day. I have like a mauve, a peachy nude. Then I have a deeper mauve and then like a hot orange for summer. I love, love, love these blushes. I cannot seem to put those down either. And they're just good quality. All of the powder products from KVD Vegan Beauty have all been really good quality. A few of the other blushes that I have to mention I just grabbed a few from my collection um, are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. I have so many of these. 
Um, again, the quality is excellent on Tarte, all of Tarte's powder products. I don't like any of Tarte's liquid products, but their powder products are to die for, you guys. And I own tons of these. If you guys don't know, I may be a blush addict. <laughs> You can never have too much blush. I do also tend to like a blush with a brighter pigment to it. So if you are one of those barely there blush girls, these are not for you. But if you like a little bit more blush, these are it. I'm also gonna mention NARS blush. Um, this is one of my favorite colors. This is called Orgasm X. I am so happy that NARS actually made a Orgasm product that looks good on medium and dark skin tones. Regular orgasm doesn't even show up on my face. It just looks like gold glitter. So I'm so happy that they did a more um, intense, rich color for all of us girls who like color. Um, I also picked up this one, which is a newer shade. This is Aroused. This is definitely a fall shade for me. I love it. Really rich, deep berry. Looks good on all skin tones. Just depends on pressure applied. I have other ones. Um, I will mention this palette one more time. I know I've talked about it before, so it'll be brief. This is a Lime Crime Sun Kissed Face Palette. This is what is on my face today. Um, I'm obsessed with this palette. It is my go-to. It is very dirty, so I apologize, but it gets so much love from me. I have the blush on, um, then I have the highlighter topper, I have the bronzer shade on today, and then I have this shade for highlighter on my inner tear duct. So I use the heck out of this palette. I have bought many and purchased them from Lime Crime. I wish Lime Crime would make more face products because every powder product they've ever made I have fallen in love with pretty much. So I wish we got more face palettes, but... I'm going to continue to purchase as well I can. Next up is a, another category that I am obsessed with. I have gone through hundreds of different highlighters and I always tend to go back to these specific ones. So this is, um, again, a Lime Prime product. Um, they make this palette called The Blossom Palette. I have went through, I don't know, about eight of these over the years. It has the most beautiful peach pink gold highlighter and then the same shade but deeper and then this bright white icy purple highlighter that I love for inner tear duct. Like I said I've gone through so many of these I can't even really remember but it is my holy grail of all times highlighter. Every time I use this palette I am delighted. Another highlighting powder um, that's a little more subdued this is by Kevin Aquan. This is the Cestile Powders. This is in Candlelight. I use this every day just under my eyes. It adds a little oomph um, to my under eyes. So that is how I use this, but you could use this as a highlighter if you wanted a soft highlight on your cheek. That's a product that I've used kind of for years. Um, so this is the same color, but it, all, it was the original packaging. It always changes up limited edition packaging. Again, this is Marc Jacobs Highlighter. Just stunning here, you guys. Um, this is the Limited Edition Cherry Collection. This is 79 Guilty. Um, and this is the Omega Glaze Highlighter. Um, I have this in all the Limited Edition packaging. I bought many of them because, as you guys know, Marc Jacobs is kind of doing this weird thing where he is either rebranding, repackaging, um, reformulating. I don't really know, but I'm obsessed with the products from Marc Jacobs. I like a lot of them. And this highlighter has been a holy grail status for me for quite some time. So I'm gonna start with this one here. This is the Natasha Denona. This is the gold palette. This is the full size. I do also have the mini as well, but this is me in an eyeshadow palette, you guys. All of these colors are very much me. The only shade that this is missing for me is a little bit more of an orange shade, and this would be almost every shade that I love and I wear regularly. This palette is pretty expensive. I believe it was $130. However, I think the quality is worth it, and I would buy this time and time again over other eyeshadow palettes um, that I've tried through the years. The only thing I can say negatively about this palette is it gets pretty messy. Um, I don't think they were thinking about that with this foam inside, but it gets very dirty. But that also shows you guys that I use it and I love it, right? 
Another Natasha Denona palettes that I always recommend are going to be these minis here. This is the mini star palette. I have used the living the heck out of this little guy here, um, mostly because of this shade right here. This reminds me a lot of Max Blue Brown Pigment, and it is stunning. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment, um, and I would recommend, if you guys are interested in Natasha Denona, buy the minis. Totally worth it. You can get a bunch of them um, for less than what you pay for a big palette, and I think you'd be happier with the selection of colors. But I do definitely highly recommend Natasha Denona. Next up is gonna be my Lime Crime Palettes. This is probably my most used palette in my entire collection. This is from Lime Crime. This is their Venus 2 palette here. This is a very grungy, um, rock and roll, 90s, 2000 type of a palette. It has that burnt orange, that, you know, kind of mustardy yellow, and it has all the, um, again, that MAC blue brown type pigment shade there. It's that chameleon shade where it's brown, but shifts to kind of bluish green. Of course, a rusty brown, a black glittery sparkly shadow. This again is just my colors I gravitate towards. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but this is by far my most used eyeshadow palette. And I love it. Another palette from Lime Crime that I like a lot is the Original Venus. This is my go-to, just beautiful glam, um, kind of Hollywood looks that I like to do. Very clean, simple, beautiful makeup. This gives you a great look and you can't go wrong with the pigmentation. Another palette I use a lot, which I don't even think they sell this anymore, but this is the KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Eye Palette. Mine has been used to all heck. But the reason why I use this palette so much is because of all of the neutral shades that are all mattes. It just works great for any kind of crease work I need to do and pairs well with any eyeshadow product that I'm using. So this gets a lot of love. I know it's not really probably in production anymore, but if you can find it, definitely pick it up. And then last but not least, this is an honorable mention. This is number my fourth thing here. This is by Joseph Colors. I've got two different palettes here that I'm going to show you. So this one is baked browns. I wasn't expecting a whole heck of a lot from this palette, but I love the quality of the shadows. Really easy to use. Great everyday wearable palette. Beautiful, beautiful quality though, guys. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know why certain places are getting rid of dose of colors, but it's good stuff. This is a newer palette that I picked up, but it's very much all of my favorite shades. I love green and yellow and orange on my eyes. If you guys didn't know, that is a thing for me that I love dearly. So those are my eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to go over, um, it's still some eyeshadow products, but it's going to be cream eyeshadow products and glitters because I kind of think that that is kind of one category. So for glitters, um, I'm obsessed. This is the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed. As far as jar glitters, this is one of my personal favorites. It's absolutely amazing and doesn't get better than this. I think these are six or seven dollars, something like that. Excellent quality, I wear it all the time. As far as easy, accessible purchase glitters, I would say Urban Decay. Uh, both of these are the heavy metal. One is the squeeze tube, one is the liner. Beautiful, beautiful glitters, never disappoint and they don't burn my eyes. When it comes to cream shadow slash glitters, the Mind Crime Diamond Dews are beautiful. It's a cream shadow with glitter, excellent. And then another cream product is the Double Act Shadow Stick by Ico that I'm obsessed with. I've been using the heck out of this. And then I only have one eye primer, but I figured I'd talk about it. This is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Eye Base. No color, looks absolutely fabulous with any eyeshadow that I wear. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go into lip products. Let's start with the lip color I have right on right now. I'm gonna put some more on. This is by Clarence, so it's called the Lip Comfort Oil. This is the shimmer version. I have another one that's a shimmer version, and then I have the others as well that have no shimmer just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, these are the three with no shimmer. They're gorgeous. I love these lip oils. They're super comfortable and reasonably long wearing for a lip oil. And I like the color range. A little bit of something for everybody. Great for every day, kind of just throw in your bag item. I'm kind of a low maintenance, no frills on my lip products. I like my lips just to be comfortable. These are not sticky or gooby in any way, shape or form. And they just look beautiful on the lips. Even when they're dry, um, it looks great on my lips. One other product from Clarence that I like to talk about 
are these products as well. It is their lip stains. Um, I've got four shades. So we've got the red and the raspberry, and then I've got the dull pink and orange. These are so, 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 so good. If you guys haven't tried these from Clarence, you guys are totally missing out. I love these so much. And they do stain. It's a water lip stain. So it's super sheer, but it's going to give you the most um, color um, without being sticky or gummy. They dry really well. You can even put chapstick over them if you want to later in the day. You don't have to keep reapplying or you can reapply to make them darker and to make them stand out more. But these are amazing, amazing products. I love lip stains. If you guys have any lip stain recommendations, please put them down in the comments box below because I'm always looking for an amazing lip stain. Um, also kind of going in that lip stain category are these products here. These are by The Balm Lip Stain. This is like a glossy lip stain. I love these too. I have these in every color pretty much. Um, that they make and I have them in full size and I have them in travel again I want long wear but I want comfortable I don't want sticky I don't want dry I don't want anything that makes my lips look sad and these are a winner for me then going back to a product that I didn't think I would like but I love them so much are these products right here they're from Tarte it's called Tarte C collection and it's the jelly glaze again I have them in a bunch of colors I love this because it's basically a lip mask but it has color so it's in between lip mask chapstick kind of a product and I love it they're super comfortable easy to wear I also like that they come in like travel sizes to easy squeeze tubes for you you just kind of unscrew it and you squeeze the product out and it is wonderful. Not to mention they do all smell really good without being off-putting. One other product that is a lip mask that I'm going to mention um, just because we're kind of talking all about lips is the Tatcha uh, Kiss Lip Mask. This has a Japanese peach lip jelly. Um, very, very, very comfortable. I put this on my lips every single night before bed and I love it. I'm sure you could use it multiple times a day. That's just how I use mine. And the last lip product, cause I know I've gone way overdue with lip products, but I like a very different type of a lip product than most people. It's these products right here. This is by Buxom and these are the powerful lip the Power Fill Plump Lip Balms. So these are kind of cool. So they have like a big bow on top of them. It looks like a giant taps, chapstick, leaves a little bit of color. Um, they're plumping and hydrating and all in one type of product as where the big O is just a lip plumper that pH balances to your lip color. Um, I love these products. These are kind of my go-to lip products and products that I use the absolute most. And the last category in makeup is going to be mascara and then I'm going to do like lip or mascara and eye treatment. So I'm going to start with my eye treatment first, which is this product here. It's called Babe Lash. This is an eyelash serum. I think it's important to talk about this because I've been using it every day for over about a year and a half. It makes a huge difference it is why my eyelashes are so long without this product. I wouldn't have the beautiful lashes I have. So I have to recommend this product and it's a must probably for the rest of my life next up is going to be the lancome seals booster this is a mascara primer i use this every single day before any mascara i put on my eyelashes no matter what and i do think it makes all the difference in the world of hydrating coating your lashes making them healthy and keeping them strong then it's coming down to my three current favorite mascaras um, this changes quite often, but I have found out that my eyelashes touch my skin. So pretty much most tubing or fiber mascaras are pretty much the only way I can go now. Otherwise I end up with black stuff all over my eye. So I'm going to start with this product here, which is by Thrive Cosmetics. It's called Liquid Lash Extensions. I've talked about this mascara before. When I first used it, I wasn't that impressed. Um, until I took it off and it just started coming off in balls, super easy to clean, didn't bother or irritate my eyes, and it never, ever, ever once smudged or moved around on my eyes. So for that, it is a, it is definitely in my top. 
Now, Thrive Mascara is really hard to get a hold of. You have to order it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I wish they would uh, get on the wagon and sell it in a beauty store that's easier to access. So until that day, I was looking for an alternative. My alternative is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mask. I'm sure this has been all over YouTube and TikTok and all of those things, but I love this mascara. This is a tubing mascara as well. Even has a very similar brush except for it's more flexy. It's very similar application taking it off comes off in balls because it's a tubing mascara and I have it on right now. Makes my lashes super long and I never get any black stuff smudging or flaking on my eyes. So this is my new favorite tubing mascara and I actually recommend it over the Thrive, but I do still like the Thrive. Um, it is a nice mascara, it's just more difficult to get hold of. And then this is a newer one for me. This is the MAC Magic Extension Mascara. This is a fiber, I think, mascara, if I remember correctly. And this is just a beautiful mascara. It doesn't smudge or move on me either. I like the brush, I like the wand, and it makes my eyelashes look super long. Um, so I really did like this and was impressed. This is the first time a mascara from MAC has impressed me, so it is a must talk about. All right, so we're gonna go into the makeup setting spray category. This is it for makeup. So we're gonna go over the three that I have and use most. The Ben 9 Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. So this is a makeup setting spray and it seals your makeup in. This stuff smells god awful like mouthwash, however, works like a dream. It really does keep my makeup on and seals everything up. Of course, I can't talk about makeup setting spray without talking about the Urban Decay All Nighter. This has been a holy grail for years. This makeup spray is made by Scandinavia for Urban Decay and it just fits the bill. Um, easiest one to find in stores as well and I love it. And then this is a newer one for me, but I'm loving it. This is by Cover Effects. This is the High Performance Setting Spray 24 Hour Wear. This stuff is excellent, has the most beautiful mister on it, and it gives me just the best, best look without being um, too dewy. It is also alcohol free too, so that's a huge thing for me with this particular setting spray. Um, I feel like I don't break out ever with this setting spray, and that is a huge, huge bonus, and that's why I recommend this so highly. All right, guys, into our last category of my top three. Unfortunately, in fragrance, I can never do a top three. I have so many, and I narrowed it down to five, but um, I had to, so I couldn't help myself. So we're going to go start off with Davidoff Cool Water. This is a classic. This is my best cheap fragrance. You can find this anywhere and it smells like kind of like ocean summer delight to me. Every time I smell it, it makes me super, super happy and it's a classic and it's inexpensive. So I had to include one inexpensive fragrance in this list, um, but something that is my tried and true and that for sure is the Cool Water fragrance for women. Continuing with my ocean happy smells is going to be this fragrance right here this is by ellis brooklyn this is called salt i get so many compliments on this you guys it's kind of a musky at the beach sort of scent if you love summer and you love the beach you gotta smell this stuff i love it so much um it is newer to my collection but easily moving up the list because it's summertime, we have to talk about this. This is my all-time favorite fruity fragrance ever. This is Escada Cherries in the Air. I love all the Escada fragrances. I get every single one every summer, no matter what. They are different every single season, and you can't go wrong. If you love a fruity, sweet, summery fragrance, this is it, guys. Then moving on to some of my nicer fragrances, my little more expensive, my little more chic. Uh, this is the little black dress this is by Guerlain and it is just the most beautiful cherry sweet little bit spicy seductive fragrance this is definitely a fall fragrance or a going out fragrance this is not an everyday wear it's definitely a special occasion type of a fragrance I love this so much. I know um, Guerlain got rid of a lot of the Little Black Dress collection, and this one I don't think I can get anywhere locally. 
anymore, but it is by far my favorite and I highly recommend it. It's very black tie, very elegant. And every time I wear this, it makes me happy. I also do love the scent of cherries. Um, going with that theme, this is probably one of my more expensive fragrances in my collection. This is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I thought about purchasing this for almost a year just because of the price point and I have so many fragrances, but it was worth every penny. This is a cherry almond kind of liqueur scent, very sexy. Um, not an everyday fragrance, I would say. I mean, you could, but no, it's something very special. There's something unique about this that I just love and I haven't smelled anything quite like it. Um, and that is that about my fragrances. I get compliments every single time I wear this, you guys. Every single time. So it is worth the money. I really hope that Tom Ford, instead of making this limited edition, keeps it because it is just so good. All right, guys. So that is my list of top three in every category. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday in the description box will be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures and I'll catch you guys on the next one.